Sorry for the cut. Um, and do you remember this place? Do you really shrine? Oops, a dead priestess. Lo and behold, this was the secret path to Ironman's Lair all the whole time. Now be warned, because a lot of the enemies in here are super strong. They don't really drop very much either. It's a night. So. Just keep that in mind as you're going along. You can also get comboed like I am right now. Because of poor placement of enemies. So. I'm gonna have to try to get around that. Um, as you can see, boink, 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 boink. Yeah, it's not too optimized. Yeah, I just went into a circle. Also, those lions aren't centered. Nah. As you can see, there's four steps. Step number one. Meet one of the harder boss fights in the game, period. No contest. You again, how did you get in here? The swamp which you stole the brooms and which wood. What are you doing here? It's none of your business, little chops. Now for my revenge. This week she's cursed us. Yeah, actually I just remembered she's just a pain in the neck. She's not actually bad. Oops. I don't know why, I thought she was a villain that could actually beat you in a fight. Okay. That's door number one. As you can see, the enemies are kind of just getting stronger and stronger as you go up. I know these enemies are super strong, but, and might drop good stuff, but I'm kind of just concerned about not using all my healing items off the bat, and man, that's glitched. These enemies would actually be really difficult if you did not have any, um armor like I have. Any of the ultimate armors. Anyway. Oops. We're gonna want to use this staircase. I'm actually using Talia out front because she is the strongest defensive character I think we have at the moment. Which is ironic, to say the least. We also got some ninjas. What do you drop? Just curious. Aquafolium, that's not worth it at all. I'd probably just say for everyone watching, just kind of breeze through this area. If, you, Like I said, use the fairy world if you want to farm levels. This area is not worth it. If they only drop aquafoliums, it's, it's not in a great training zone. These guys, I'm gonna have to kill those so that it's a safe spot. Okay. I need those Cassia leaves and stuff because we're close to the end. Make sure as well, though, if you are super weak and you don't have very good healing items and you want to just breeze through this area, make sure that you keep constantly saving it every so often on different saves so that you can just whip back to that save if you need to go back and get anything and realize that you're not strong enough or anything like that. 
Here we are. Thirteen Night is upon us, Lord Zoram. Excellent. Begin the final ritual, Dark Priest. Stop what you're doing, Lord Zoram. Lord Zoram, our paths are back. Don't you know when to give up? You can't stop the prophecy when it's filling with time fools. We'll see about that. Dark Priest, finish them. Dark Priest! I think he's the third of the final boss. He's alright. He's kind of a the test to see whether or not you're actually strong enough to fight the big bad. I think I probably should have used uh, wildfire more often. I'm just laughing my regular attack. No! Killed my dark priest. I suppose he's chanting. I don't know, but it can't be. Oh no! What? I think he's trying to summon Iron Man. Hurry, Devin, let's get him! We're too late, fools. Uh, uh, how good it feels to be alive again. Can't be fully summoned. The day's not over yet. We best try and kill Lord Zoram Araman. Whatever he is before another minute passes. Well, if don't get over out of this alive, it was nice knowing you. Kick some demon butt. Ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Wait. Egg is trying to tell me something. I think it wants me to pick it up. Or he is healed. But not revive! But there we go. Definitely gonna try to use some stuff here. You don't want to use Aegea too early, and you don't want to use it too soon. I keep mixing up my turn, that's weird. Again, with the... Frederick. Nope. First attempt failed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just rapid fire attack as her this time. Use some skippage. I'm gonna save my star amulets. Am 
Not actually, I've lost it this time. No, I lived. Okay, Star Amulet. Star Amulet. Regular attack. Star Amulet. Let's see here. Snow Pendant. Um. I'll jump through an Inak. Let's have him do a regular attack. Don't use Aegia, by the way, until it tells you to. Otherwise, you can glitch out the entire fight by killing him too soon. It's kind of stupid, I know, but you can actually kill him without Aegia. And then the game just freaks out. again. This boss didn't used to be so poorly optimized in a way. Okay. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Yep, Aegia gets consumed.
Yeah, I don't think there's any more magic. No! You gotta save us, we're still alive. We killed the demon. Let's get out of this place. Okay, thank god it didn't glitch. So just use egg gear whenever you can, then. Don't just do what I did. Because that was a little bit... I did not remember that, um, Aegea could revive your allies. That would make so much more help and sense. That boss fight didn't always work like that, though, so I don't know what they did to change it. That was different. Harry and her party returned to Mr. Far to look at the good news. Griffold and the f others knew how close the kingdoms came to the Dark Age. Side with Ripping Eve. As with most fairy tales, everyone set off in their own directions to live happily ever after. Or so they thought. As the sun set on the thirteenth night, no one was aware that Zoram had completed the summoning. Zoram dead, the spirit of Erhman bound by no one. And so our journey ends here, but as in life, so nothing begins. Thank you for playing prequel day beyond. The end. So, here's something that I don't like about the project. Is that this game used to be geared towards being its own game. Like, it, it would begin and end as its own story, its own game, and whatever, separate from anything else, until they decided to start making avions, and then they made this game correlate with that game. Be it story or whatever. And they took too much pride in that series, because it kind of went down downhill. Nice. Thanks. Thanks for your glitchiness, game. Thank you for telling me game over. But with that... I might play Avion. There's a lot of things about Avion that I really like. But there's also a lot of things I hate about it. That I hope... If I play it after this, if I find, make the decision to or can get a hold of it, I'll try, but do be warned that I might be a little bit salty, because I used to adore this game so much, and I still do, but in a lot of aspects I feel like them remaking this game to be free and whatever, it was a good choice, but then they changed a lot of things about it, like they just ended that with that. The original ending to that game was Airman was killed, by the way. For those of you wondering what the original story was. It ended with Airman or getting killed, and then there would be like a slight monologue depending on the, the stuff in this game that you had picked. Like, for example, Talia and Devin and all that. And they completely eradicated that for the sake of Avion. But, yeah, I suppose that's a story for actually Avion when we get to that if I play it. But that's the end. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.